All right. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Broken Vase. And today we are going to have a very exciting episode uh, planned out for you guys. As you can tell, I have two important guests here. I have Kalik Nana with us. So, hello, Kalik. How are you today? Hi, bro. Hi guys, welcome to the Broken Waste channel. Just a small reminder, if you all haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe. These episodes are going to be our sports personality episodes where we have a discussion with certain sports persons in Sri Lanka. So to start off, I am an amateur chess player, very mediocre at best. I do not win a lot. I can barely play. That's why we have invited. This is about chess. About chess. About chess. So that's why we have invited a very good player, a player I have watched growing up when I was in school as well. So Nilhan will do the introduction for him. So apparently this is about chess, bro. I did not know that. I'm so sorry. I, I know nothing about chess. But anyways, guys, we have to welcome our uh, special guest, Mr. Dinal Virasinghe. Hello. Ali, clap you, brother. Clap. What's up? Yeah, hi Dinal. So, so wait, wait. Uh, I have to introduce Dinal properly. He has a big resume, as you can tell. He is, uh, I, <laughs> he is the number one in Sri Lanka for chess, and he is also I number one for Southeast Asia in chess. We must uh, mention in the WCT World Chess Tournament. He's number one. So we welcome you, Dinal Virasinghe. Thank you so much Hello. for. Coming for our videos. So, give us a brief introduction about your beautiful, uh, sexy personality. Uh, well, well, first of all, first of all, I started chasing grade six um, thanks to my mother actually because I was never into chess actually because I was most of mostly an outdoor person. Like, like I used to like uh, always out of the door, no? Yeah. Oh yeah, always out of the door. Like cycling. So cricket, football, that was my thing. Athletics, sometimes. Very good. Um, yeah, I remember never you used to play cricket every day at the interval. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go, Karlik. You're a good left arm spinner, bro. Mm. Ah, you Off used a left arm? Like spinner. Ah, yeah, left, left arm. Hand. Left hander in bowling, but right hander in batting. That's the weird part. That's good. That uh-huh. is good, guys. I'm also the same. I use my right hand for everything. Yeah. I did not like the idea of staying in one place and like pushing chess pieces all day, you know. Mm-hmm. Like when I was uh, in grade six when I was small, I was 11 years old. Oh. But uh, little did I know that I eventually got to enjoy the game. I took a very keen interest and obviously uh, our classmates, our classmates weren't exactly supportive of me playing chess, right Kalik? I mean, yeah, we had a good, few good players in our match, if I remember. You, Kanishka used to play chess, uh, Nadeel. Yeah, I yeah, but yeah, not, yeah, yeah, yeah Ramanan but, was also a good player. Yeah, but they are not island-wide, no, I mean, like this. They are not I number one. Him, no. but they were good players. I don't think I ever beat any of them. Hey, dude, I remember <laughs> Nikita used to beat me with the with the four boot <laughs> checkmate when I was in grade 6. He was a scholar's I, I remember... When COVID started, we played online chess. And if I remember correctly, you played a game with Keshan. And Keshan tried to cheat you. Can you remember that? Yeah, yeah. I won. I what won that. What did Keshan huh? try to do? He used a chess software, Machan. Yeah. He literally used an engine against me. <laughs> I still won. You, you competed against the engine? Very okay, so good. one question I want to ask, bro. So now, as you see, when people play chess, everyone's personality comes out when they play. So, for example, people have different openings which they play depends on the person. And depending on the person, they either they are an attacking player, a defending player, more neutral. So, for me, I see that my personality is very reckless in, yeah. in nature. So, I always try and attack, try and penetrate the defense. But unfortunately, that doesn't work out for me all the time. And I end up losing all my pieces. So, we just wanted to know how... What is the strategy you play? Does it depend on the person you're playing or do you have like a big strategy going into a game? Thing is, I usually have the I usually have like the same opening setup. I go with that the is. I go yeah, with the open. Catalan opening. So uh, Catalan, Catalan as white and as black, I play I play Scandinavian a lot and 
I also play the Sicilian defense. Excuse me. Recently, I've been playing. Yes, yes, the Sicilian defense is what I've been playing, and the Reti over. Wait, wait, wait. I don't hmm. know now. What is this Sicilia and what is this? Uh, this can Scandinavian. Can Canada? What? Ah. Scandinavian. Can, can you just tell me what are these Canada attack? Can you know? Yeah. Can you please explain those attacks, please? These much on uh, actually like karate. openings. Ah. Yeah. Man, karate never even mentioned. I did karate, so I know yeah, it's not karate. Oh. Are you? Yeah, that's good. Me, so Komari me, these are like these are like formations in chess. Like when you like start a chess game, you have to like move your pawns and pieces and all that. Me, that no me. Ah, the pawns. Things so like yeah. so it depends on like the move order, like how you play, how you play first couple of moves. That's what's known as an opening. Hmm. But right. Once you learn chess, you will understand that. Right, hmm. right, right. So this is a uh, these are several ways where you can penetrate into the game, me. uh yes you could you could call it that basically okay. and and as and as for my chess personality i would say that um, it's very situational really some but mostly i'm more of a defensive player but when the but when the situation calls for it i can come like very aggressive and attack i understand yeah 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 i focus mostly i focus mostly like on defense and building up my position first then going right. with attacking mode right me actually what i was trying to tell you this black man has come to fix a hole in our house i'll uh, give me one second i will return with the goodies so dinal as you mentioned you said that as if the situation arises you become aggressive and attacking so i think in regard to that milhan has a question in relation to attacking yes i would love to know now after <laughs> by attacking what do you mean like do you throw the chess board then you attack the person with the chess board dog i want to assault someone it, it would be very simple ah. i just take i just take a huge pole smash them on the head that's ah, all so in every chess tournament they have a pole near the table no not every not every tournament ah okay. you see you see after chess game hmm? You're supposed to shake hands. Oh, you know, right. all smash each other with the ball. Because it's a gentle. Ah, oh, sorry, sorry. If y'all y'all shake hands, no, I'm so sorry. I didn't know that. I am so sorry. Yes, yes. But uh, sometimes you not only shake hands. Sometimes it's a. Uh... No, no, no. Uh, oh. Cock shake. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. I understand. I know okay. there's a lot of things that happen. Okay, uh, swiftly moving on. I think we are getting off topic here. Yes. So, Dinal, I understand that Milhan doesn't know anything about chess, and I am not the best person to teach him. So, I believe you have prepared something on your screen to run us through a small demonstration. Yes. Have a demonstration. All right. Sure, sure. Hold on. Milhan, please observe and learn something. Ah, okay. Most definitely. I'm good at learning. Um, It is important when playing chess to always bring out your different personality. Because the Japanese have a saying: the nail which sticks out gets hammered. I learned that from past and future stroke theory. Now Dina I will share the screen and continue. Right. Okay. okay, now can you see the 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 we can see it very perfect, yes. very very beautiful, very perfect. Very beautiful. Okay. Yes. So how do how do the pawns move? First of all, the pawns ah, pawn. they can they can move they can move with the pawns square. Well, huh? I Hello. Uh, hello. 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 Same time. Hello. Internet. I think. Uh, no, hello. You're fine. You're. Yeah, you're me. Fine. Ah, I'm fine. Okay. Hello. 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 Okay. I'm yeah, so yeah, sorry. Play, play. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the pawn. So, move the pawn. The pawn moves one square at a time. Oh, right. But on the first move, we can move two squares. The first move only. Oh, I understand. The first move, two squares, and after that, we can move only. One, one square. Amazing. Okay. Yeah, I understand. Amazing. Now I think this is a very important topic here. So uh, you know, everybody asks why people, you know, like to uh, see pawn and all that. It's a very beautiful thing because uh, actually I think this is one reason why it looks very nice, very visually very pleasing. You know, when you cut one pawn with the other pawn, I'm sure you will, as you will show in future. Of course you it. can do that. Yes, of course you can do that. Here, yeah. 
now if i move this pawn okay now now the pawn can capture a piece on another pawn diagonally diagonally wow. see like this right amazing and i can capture back just like that oh, you see wow. now in some situations when the pawn comes out first even though it takes um to what do you call to if it comes out basically and it takes two steps forward mm mm-hmm. the other pawn can cut it even if it's in a straight there's some thing like that right i was get confused not if it's not if it's in like a straight line oh, so now uh, this white pawn which is near the end of the blacks it can yeah. cut that black pawn yes right? yes like yes oh. yes yes no no not that the other the pawn next to it this pawn now you all are confusing yeah. the pawn if it right? comes out from the original position don't confuse pawn no no I play online chess on chess.com bro that shit always happens to me bro it's pieces <laughs> you you do it online these days covid bro hmm. you can't play physically and everybody me. everybody is doing it online yeah we know that I okay also, so i also do it online all the time so now this pawn is on the d5 square okay kalik okay. and now you right, play right. okay now black moves this pawn to c5 okay. now you yeah, can this pawn you can you can cut this pawn ah bro, very beautiful how does it look bro Uh, yeah. If a if a pawn is on, for example, like if white the pawn is on the on the fifth rank, uh, right. and black moves another pawn, like for example, this is e5. If black if black plays f5, then I can capture this pawn using this on pasan rule. But this oh, wow. applies only for the first move. Ah, oh, that pawn disappeared. So, no? for example, right. good to finally learn that this is actually a valid move. And Machang, yes. Machang. For example, like if you play this move, and also Dina, could you explain? Bloody fly! Sorry. Uh, also, could you explain uh, each of the moves, how they move for every character or every? I don't know that pawn. Oh, okay. For example. So, um, okay, the knight moves in an L. Sh- Um, in an L formation. Right. See L. Right. L. Yeah, meaning on it. If it if it's in the white L. square, it has to move to the brown square. If it's in the brown yes. square, it has to move to the white square. That's right. Oh wow! Very beautiful. So uh, also another thing, uh, that is the knight. No, L. then what are the other yes. ones? Then we have the bishop. Ah. Bishop moves diagonally. It's very simple. Any. Amount of to cross diagonally, so it can uh, move to the diagonally only to the left or only to the right. Left and right both like anywhere yeah. basically diagonally. That is good. Also, uh, also there are two bishops. Um, but uh, one days, is on the light square. But these days the bishops the can't square. move around uh, freely because there are travel restrictions. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's yeah, COVID yeah, yeah, and all. Yeah, yeah. There's COVID and all, so yeah, but very it's beautiful. Not too free, yeah. Very beautiful. Bishop yeah. has to self isolate, I think. Wait, what bishop are you talking about? The school law? <laughs> in general, bro, in general. Ah, bishop, bishop. Yeah, yeah, he's very isolated. Next is the rook. Ah, rook is my favorite. Hmm. Hmm. Why is that? Because my is grandfather's that? nose is in the shape of a rook. You know, his nose ah. looks like a rook. So, yeah. Also, a rook is also known. Also, 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 you can also call a rook a castle. Just so you know, castle. Ah, it's also, also like in the shape of like a castle, ne? See? Ah, right, okay. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I think the king is very close to the castle, no? To the rook, no? Uh, yes. Actually, they are the first. The rook oh, is the first. Ah, I think. Away from the king, bro. No, no. Wait, I think we'll have to bless Dinal before we go back to the next. I bless you for your sneeze. Thank you. Uh, I don't know if I have COVID, but whatever. You uh, have COVID? So the, who knows, Matra? Thank God, we are not closer to each other. Net tongue, where is the name? Where is it? Ne 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 ne, Matra. It's okay. I'll come to your house and give you COVID and go. Okay. No no. I'm, As a gift. Please don't. As a gift. Please, please don't come because uh, I'm coming there. Close. My God, no, don't. I I I thank you for your very gentle hospital, but uh, don't come hospitality. Sorry, uh, don't come. Thank you. Some friend you are, Matam. What the hell? Huh? No. Two most interesting characters: the king and the queen. 
Oh, no, wait, let me show you how the rook moves. Let me find the rook moves. Ah, the rook please. Moves, it always moves in a straight line uh, and it moves, uh, what, what's it called? Vertically. Vertical. Vertically and horizontal. And horizontal. And horizontal. Then also Vertical I want to know, uh, what is this called? The king's pawn? King's pawn. Yes. The basically. king's pawn is the pawn in front of the king, yes. The pawn in front of the queen is known as the queen's pawn. Queen's pawn. Ah, the queen also has a pawn. Right. And the pawn from the knight is known as the knight's pawn. Ah, knights. Looks like everybody watches pawn. I mean, has pawn, no? So now a question I have is, bro. Everyone knows that the queen is the most powerful and the king is the most powerless. Of course. But if you look at it in a general sense, when you always think of power, we always refer to the king and not the queen. So, why is it in chess that, I, I don't know, is there a specific reason that the king is powerless and the queen is powerful? Good question. Good question. Dinal, please give us the answer. Uh, well, first of all, have you guys, um, have you guys considered like a relationship, basically? Almost, I have tons of, yeah, that's right. Very hard to get out of the phone, but you know, I said bye, I'll call you tonight. The the queen actually had a very different movement, as in like it could move only one square. Oh really? Uh, I didn't know that. Only one square, only one square. At a time? Mm, no. Diagonally, yes. Ah. Uh, so yes, that, that's how it used to be, I think. Uh, afterwards, the rules changed and all that can move like vertically, horizontally, diagonally. The only piece it cannot uh, imitate is the knight, actually. Ah, why is that? Uh, no one knows, really. Basic, ah. Basically, the knight has a very unique movement. Yeah, can no, move in an L formation. The queen doesn't really need it. So, uh, I think, uh, are we done with the moves? Ah, yes. <laughs> and the king can move in each, uh, each, each, each direction one square at a time. Diagonally, horizontally. Amazing. Vertically, one square at a time. So, can you explain how a stalemate takes place? Yeah, uh, a common occurrence of stalemate is if you put the queen and the king, and this is stalemate. Black has nowhere to go, and it's not checkmate here. Yes. So, so I'm basically the black's king is not in danger unless it moves. This king is not in check here. So, this is stalemate. Right, very stale. Like you know, with the rook also, it's, it's the same occurrence. Oh Cannot go God. front. So basically, stalemate. he's blocked. He's, he's... Yes. So then, now what is a checkmate? A checkmate is where the king is basically checkmated. It's in danger and it has nowhere to move. And it's basically, basically, basically it will be, be executed. The king will be executed, basically. So it can't move dog. and it's mm. in complete danger. So it's... Done, done basically. My god, is it true that chess originated in India? To my knowledge, yes. My god, I thought in Africa. I didn't know. I think I no, read the no. wrong article. Mm. And also to the viewers watching, we have we forgot to actually put this in the introduction segment. We want to uh, mention Dinal's chess page. It's called Chess with Dinal. We'll, uh, we'll mention that in the introduction as well. So of give course. us one introduction now, you can edit it to the introduction. Yes. Um, so, so chess with Binal basically aims to uh, to promote chess in like like a very calm and instructive manner. Basically, I basically just uh, show like lots of sample games, analysis, uh, openings, theories, strategies, that sort of thing. Continuous to some Brazilian guy, but I <laughs> got to eight nine theory. Yeah, they are very good at chess. So, but actually, I I'm beat two Russians, bro. I was very impressed. Oh really? Mm. My congratulations. Russia. I actually I remember the very first tournament I went to was in school. Uh, I got uh, zero wins. Everyone beated me. And uh, you know I went and I the only thing I was able to do is uh, sit and move the pawn around. Nothing else. I uh, got checkmate. I got uh, I got yeah. I was all everyone beat me to death. Solid, sir. Then uh, we can wrap up or what? Is there any more questions? Ah, I forgot. Yeah, yeah, we can wrap up. Inal, is there anything you want to say? To add to the video? Um, 
Maybe I'm going to edit, edit, edit out and stuff, so don't worry. Right. You can sure. go ahead with your question. Nilhan, yeah. I wish you good luck on your chess journey. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you try to try to play in a very instructive manner don't smash anyone on the head with a pole <laughs> oh, uh, okay most definitely yeah i don't you know use poles i uh, use verbal communication but uh, i will take your uh, advice i will play chess more and yes i will definitely do that but uh, i want to thank you know i want to thank you dinal so much for your time thank you for joining us Uh, and once again please do check out chess with dinal uh, i'm sure the waste gang will show his channel a lot of love so yeah i think that's basically it. thank you so much for coming once again thank you so much you know that Now, person uh, yeah yeah fast and furious 9 is coming out no uh, doms i think his whole family will join the series very soon doms uh, father grandmother oh, mother I- I think uh, I think in the next Fast and Furious movie, if I'm not mistaken, I think Dominic Toretto is going to fight Optimus Prime. Mm. Ah, really? So, so, so Transformers yeah, is coming. Ah, wow. Transformers is coming Fast and Furious, and then after that, they're going to go to space to fight Darth Vader. Ah, so then they're going to have Star Wars also, no? With those lightsabers. I also have another yeah, rumor. Yeah. Uh, that uh, you know, uh, Dominic and Letty are going to get divorced, and you know, he's going to marry his sister. So, Adinal, um, do you still play any chess tournaments regularly? Do you still keep up with the game and stuff? Not like online, I play tournaments. Right. But not like uh, not over the board because uh, of COVID and all, so not frequently. Okay. The last tournament mm-hmm. I played was uh, somewhere around 2020, April. Okay. Oh my God! So, so now, uh, February, I, February. So now, like I, like I said, I am a amateur player. I just play for fun, and I like playing. So in situations like that, are there tournaments for people like me, amateurs in Sri Lanka who can just go and just sign up and play? Like not school tournaments, because I can't play school tournament, and not professional tournaments. But like in between tournaments, where anyone can just sign up and play, is that a thing in Sri Lanka? Or If you're an amateur player, you can play in any international chess tournament. Basically, those tournaments. No, I mean I don't have. A you don't need a rating. Amateur player, I mean. You don't need a rating. Okay, okay. You don't need a rating. All right. You can just play in any tournament. Oh wow! And from those, if you perform well, you can get a rating. It's open to everyone. Right. So. Uh, So, are there any tournaments in Sri Lanka like that? Yes, yes, that of happens. course. Yeah, that's how we became there number are, one. There, are, there are open tournaments for everyone, and there are selection tournaments. But you can play in open tournaments. Oh wow! Okay. I mean, open so, or closed doesn't matter. No, because I, I also am interested in just going and playing and just testing sure, my skills. Sure, sure, sure. Of course, you can yeah, do so. Whenever it's happening, just let me know, bro. When it's happening physically, of course, now because of COVID, it will be difficult. Ah, uh, sure, ah, uh, sure, but uh, one condition: don't take a pole, okay? Just ignore. Ah, uh, ignore the advice I gave you. The pole <laughs> being near the pole, that's fine. Nilan can do a vlog. And uh, also, guys, I hope you loved uh, this segment. Uh, uh, if you still haven't liked or subscribed to this channel, what the hell are you doing? Go click that button, will you? Okay. So thank you so much for joining us. If any of you want to be a part of our videos, just send us a DM. You are more than welcome to join us. Of course. Stay safe. Peace. See you. Bye. Bye. I said to give him ten minutes, bro. Ah, okay. I think he's gonna take a shit. Tangle, come. The world chess player is gonna take a shit now. <laughs>